Hi, welcome to the, another episode of This Week of Drew, the Monday edition. This is for Monday, March 9th, 2020. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. On today's episode, we got mad shout outs. A huge how is my week. And uh, yeah. So we're going to start the show, Big Drew, with the motherfucker freestyle intro. Right off the top of his dome. On the front lawn, a garden gnome. <laughs> Oh, fuck. On the front lawn, a garden gnome. Whatever. Who cares? Hi, right, welcome to the show. This is for Monday, March 9th, 2020. What's going on? You guys checking going on? You guys going doing good? You checking? I saw you the other day. You were walking on 42nd Street, 19 Avenue. You were going to Drake. I saw you went to Drake and you put a pickled egg in your mouth. And yeah, thanks for watching the show. Right off the top, I want to say shout out to our sponsor. As always, I literally, uh, kingtutscannabis.com. Check, you guys can check out kingtutscannabis.com and use the promo code DREW right now, D-R-E-W, for 10% off your order. And if it's your first order with King Tut's Cannabis, you can fucking uh, stack that with their initial order promo code of 15%. And right now they're having their own sale where you can stack a promo code called Free Weed on top of that and they'll give you an extra eighth on top of the order. So if you use promo code DREW and it's your first order, you get 25% off and then use the promo code Free Weed on top of that you get a free eighth buddy all week this week monday to, to friday so buddy we're talking 25 percent off a large and then a free eighth on top of that for your homies buddy come on and just a little fucking there was no better deal in the hood when you could get gnomes to hook up a fucking t- 20 dollars three for 20 buddy three for 20 <laughs> i probably talked about this before in the podcast but fucking three for 20 two for 15 is a solid fucking deal i'd almost say that's like more solid than three for 20 but f- <laughs> i don't know though but three for 20 is fucking serious i don't know that was that's my uh that's gonna be my question for this week is what do you guys think what do you think what's a better deal a fucking two for 15 or three for 20 <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with three for twenty, buddy, because then you got a fucking three. You got twenty bucks, buddy. You got three grams, and then say you only got like say you only got like two twenties for the night, right? <laughs> you got twenty bucks. You spend that on your three for twenty, and then you got twenty bucks. This is back in the day. I'm talking like hood prices back in the day. Like if you only have forty bucks to party for the night. Then like three for twenty is solid, and then you go and get a fucking twenty pack of Peter Jones for six bucks, and then you got fourteen bucks left, and that is totally enough for a fucking two forties. <laughs> or you could get like a fucking six pack of like Mountain Crest, fourteen bucks. You could even get like twelvers back in the day for fourteen bucks. Yeah, man, fucking a, bro. Three for twenty, then you got yourself, then you got a nice thirty sack. For 20 bucks, and then you got a nice beer and a pack of smokes, and you're just fucking ready to lip, rip it up. <laughs> Beverly. Okay, so shout out. Oh, and also shout out to the motherfucking Break Even Boys, man. All my Patreons. Thank you guys for being on Patreon. Joel, Greg, John, Bryce, fucking Marnus, and uh, Brees, and I, all those Street Demon guys who were. I'm still shout out my old Patreons, fucking Isaac, all my old Patreons, bro, who hooked it up, man. Fucking A. You guys are there uh, from the day one. All, uh, it was my fault for not providing enough content on Patreon that I couldn't keep you, but that's all right. And then also, yo, shout out to Taryn and Owen, my bro, fucking Owen, and uh, Nick, who, who's been hitting me up on uh motherfucking uh, Facebook Messenger. And then also the last shout out is to all the people that I did a show for in uh, who might be listening from St. Catharines who are at Showtime Comedy Club on the weekend in St. Catharines. What's up to everybody who is like part of the Drew crew now. Shout out to the Drew crew. All the motherfucking members across the nation of the motherfucking Drew crew. So to start off the show, we're going to do the classic How Was My Week? Uh, my week was pretty fucking good. <laughs> I hope that you guys had a good week too. Um, I didn't do a podcast on Thursday. I'm fucking sorry. I was fucking super busy. I got a lot of fucking shit. There's a lot of fucking irons in the fire right now. And my fucking computer, I was trying to record it. And then it said it didn't have enough fucking space to do that. And then, I, I don't know, like I had to fucking wipe it. And then I shut her down. I'm, we're talking to fucking, 
This this old broad has been recording a lot of shit, man. I've had this computer for like 10 years now. Oh, good boy. I missed. Okay, bless me. A little schneezer there. Um, we don't you're not gonna edit that out. Am I getting sick? Do I have do I have the dreaded election flu? Do I have why is that not fucking zooming in on my face? I got fucking facial zoom technology. Oh, there we go. Do I have fucking election fucking flu? I don't know. Maybe I do. Who knows? Anyways, fucking my week was pretty good. I fucking didn't do a podcast, so I'm sorry. Whatever. We're just fucking powering through. And uh and I was fucking uh, been baking a lot of bread, buddy. Focaccia is my new obsession. I got the roasted garlic and rosemary. And then we had the baby tomato with the fucking, with the thyme and garlic on there too. And red pepper flakes with the salt, man. It's been going good. It's super easy, man. It's a, just a fucking, it's not even, it's a 70% hydration dough, meaning that it's se- if that, that baker's percentages, you know? So if there's a thousand grams of, flour then there's 700 grams of water but in this case the recipe is cut in half so it's 503 and fucking 350 and then you just add salt and a little pack of yeast and you just fucking let it chill man it's really not hard focaccia buddy get the focaccia out of here so i've been doing that and then i was at uh, uh, showtime comedy club in st Catharines this weekend which was fucking dope man the audiences were so fire fire friday night was fucking fire and then saturday was like live man like it was sold the fuck out like hu- like just packed uh everyone's there for comedy they're all getting liquored up immediate suspended disbelief um so they're in they bought they like they bought right into the fucking character like super fucking quick <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm like a character on stage, but you know they they bought into the exaggeration of of the stage performance really easily, and which was great. It makes my job super easy because then I have it's like a quarterback with a fucking big pocket to move around in. You know, sometimes you got that fucking defense closing in on you real fucking tight, man, and everyone's like, nah, I don't fucking believe that shit. And then, fu- but oh man, I gave Terry a fucking treat so that he wouldn't bug me during the podcast and now he's barking and this is the bark that i know is that he is left it under a counter or he got it under the fucking couch and he can't get it now it's god damn it you motherfucking terry it's like this podcast is 15 minutes long and this happens every single week you know what? i'm just gonna let him bark you earned it buddy so anyways, fucking Saturday was live, man. It was wild, man. We were just back in the zone. I was working on some new shit. That, uh, I've been working on this fucking new couple new t- new chunk that I'm trying to string together here. But still, you know, hitting them with the old favorites, buddy. We're on the fucking road. Like, let's cook it up a little bit, man. Why not hit them with the fucking living on a prayer and fucking dead or alive, man. Oh, my God, Terry. Holy fucking shit. Okay, I gotta fucking deal with this, man. Oh my god. Terry, you're just taking up fucking time. What? I know. Uh, where is it? Where the fuck is the eye? Okay, here. Take care, buddy. It was just as I fucking suspected. Okay, it was just as I fucking suspected. All right, sorry for the interruption. It was just as I expected. Terry got his little fucking Kong. It's a little, like, butt plug-looking thing that you fill with dog treats. And then he got it stuck underneath the dresser. And he did his little, I, 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 I fucking left it under the dresser. Can you, you got fingers. Can you fucking come get it for me? <laughs> That's what I imagine that he's fucking trying to say. Like, you got the fingers. Can you fucking use your fingers to grab it for me? So anyways, it's fucking St. Catharines, buddy. And I'm fucking recruiting members of the Drew crew now, left, right, and center. I'm free, man. I'm fucking a new man. I'm ready to go on the Drew crew, man. We're holding it down. It was it started ironically uh, during Top Comic, but I'm like not even fucking kidding anymore. We're rocking the Drew crew to the fucking sky, man. This is the way. This is the way. And I've been thinking about it for a long fucking time, dude. Is like I've been spinning my wheels, driving across this country for fucking 11 years, going back and forth. And what I need to do is all the people who see me, I need to convert them into fucking fans. I can't just fucking not just have them see me and then just be like, oh, that guy was funny. Like, I got to fucking close the sale. Like, it's like I've left all like tens of thousands of leads have just passed me in 11 years. 
And I'm just finally now realizing that. That it's like there is an industry and I could do that for the rest of my life and just be a guy who keeps being like a journeyman comic, which is fine in a noble profession. A absolutely. Um, but the, but if you want to fucking turn it up to the next level and, and try to be a guy, then you then it's then then what you need to do is convert those people during the fucking journeyman stage into fucking people who will see you because they just came to see comedy. 99% of the comedy that I've done in my entire life, people were there not to see me. They were there to see comedy with a capital C, right? So how the fuck do you convert those people into fans who will see you outside of the context of comedy? And that's what I fucking need to do. And I'm trying to do is just literally fucking turning, converting, closing the sale, man. Do you know who gets coffee? <laughs> You know, like it's like it's 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 fine. It struck me like a fucking couple weeks ago. I'm like, holy fuck, man. Like, what have I been doing? And then it's just like you have two options there. You can either be depressed because you literally have wasted fucking 11 years or you can be happy that at least you figured it out now. Now you are 30 with 11 years of experience and the ability to fucking, you know, do it now properly. <laughs> So whatever, who knows? We'll see. And if there's any young comics listening to this, I'm, I want you to do the fucking same thing, man. Some people would be scared of fucking of giving away this fucking piece of privileged information, which it's not even it's quite evident. It's self-evident and it's it's striking you right in the face. But it's like and it's at some point you always know that. But it's just like, how are you going to act on that? What st st steps are you going to take to actively fucking do that? Which is where I'm fucking doing the hash tag Drew Crew. Here for motherfucking you because the comedy is the reason why I'm here and I want to fucking give it to the people. Now, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm stolen. But that anyways, that's a fucking how my week was. And I had a good week of comedy. And fucking today, for everybody who listens to my podcast, I signed with Yuck Yucks. Hey, fucking A. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I'm a fucking company man now. So don't even fucking come at me. <laughs> don't come at me with your fucking... With your fucking whatever you're going to fucking do, you harlots, man. I'm a fucking taken man. I'm a company man now, and you guys don't even fucking... And I'm happy about that, bro. This is a long time coming. I've been. It's not like I haven't been trying to do this. Everyone thinks that I've been like super independent because I like, like it, and I do. But at some point, it's like I would like to have someone like working to get me gigs or like at least be a part of an edifice where I can fucking obtain work on a regular basis <laughs> you know like fuck it would be nice to just fucking stop hitting the phones every fucking day man fuck anyways that was how was my week and fucking so yeah now i'm a i'm a yucks guy and i'm fucking converting and then i'm gonna you know use their edifice and uh to to hopefully convert more people into fans See if that fucking works. <laughs> if that doesn't work, I'm just going to start doing fucking TikTok dances on Instagram. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. <coughs> okay, so uh, today's show, as uh, as with every episode, is sponsored by our one and only sponsor, who I want, our OG motherfucking sponsor, KingTutsCannabis.com. You can use the promo code Drew to get 10% off your motherfucking order. Stack that with your first order, 15% off. Free weed promo code, three and a half grams coming at your face. What else do we want to do here? I shouted out everybody. Oh, oh, Courtney's calling me. Oh, this is great. She hates this. Hello. Hi there. How's it going? It's good. How are you? Oh, it's good. You're just on the podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore these calls. It's so fucking perfect because you hate it so much and this <laughs> keeps happening. Okay, I'm just going to hang up. No, don't. What are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, well, I'm literally done in like a minute, so I'll call you. Okay, great. Bye. Okay, bye. Don't get hit by that car. <laughs> okay, bye.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smartle fucking hates that shit. Okay. Uh, what the fuck was I going to do before that? Oh, yeah. I was going to read uh, Nick uh, had something to say here from my last fucking what do you think? So this is the, my video. What do you guys think? What do you think? Okay, so Nick says we were talking about fucking putting potatoes up your ass, which late night TV fucking ran with that shit. Uh, some work, some don't, obviously, but things like putting aloe on a cut are proven to work, which is true. Um, I want my old wives' tale remedies to be just that, old wives' tales, not new wives' tales, such as shoving potatoes up your ass. <laughs> I prefer other items up my ass. Thank you very much, says Nick. Well, that's fucking hilarious, Nick. Um, <laughs> oh, man. And then I got to read a fucking... I, I want to say to Bryce. I want to read Bryce's fucking... Bryce said, Hi there. It has come to my attention that there wasn't a Thursday episode this week. What is going on? Concerned Drew Crew member. <laughs> Bryce, I'm fucking okay, man. Uh, uh, there's, not, there's, uh, there's not a lot we can do, but we're going to fucking shut it down. We're back, man. Thursday episode is going to be fucking fire. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're smoothed out with the computer situation, man. Deleted a bunch of old files and we're fucking ready to go. Okay. Scotch bonnet pepper in me oak stale stew. 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 Scotch bonnet.